Ariana surprises Mac with the best gift ever. Is Selena collaborating with ex Nick Jonas? And Kim K fuels divorce rumors. All that and more on today's rundown. What's up guys? So Taylor and Zayn have released the lyric video for their Fifty Shades Darker song. And it's getting me hot and bothered, but Ooh. something else is getting me hot and bothered, kind of. It's Kim Kardashian coming out of hiding. So Kim is returning to her glamorous life. She attended a fancy Christmas party in Los Angeles Wednesday night. She stepped out for Shelly Azoff's big holiday party at the Forum. She reportedly kind of kept a low profile. She was wearing this easy sweatshirt which is crazy, had very little makeup on, her hair was straight, she looked great. But Kim did pose for a selfie, her first very candid shot we've seen since the scary robbery back in October. And in the selfie, we see Kimmy's left hand has no wedding ring on it. Probably not because she's getting a divorce, but because it was stolen, you guys. Remember, that happened. But if there was a ring in play here, if Kanye had replaced it, regardless, she is fueling divorce rumors by not wearing a ring and the fact that Kanye was not at the party, people are talking about it. So what do you think? Do you, do you believe that she and Kanye might be getting a divorce because she's not wearing a wedding ring? I think we're looking too much. Yeah, at right? This. I mean, you don't wear your ring all the time, I'm I sure. I forget right? sometimes. Yeah, like you there's know? so many I, different reasons. And Kanye doesn't need to be out partying anyway. He just needs he to needs relax. A, he needs to be on a break. Yeah. Here's the other thing. I, I, we all know that her ring was stolen mm -hmm. in that burglary and robbery. And if I knew that someone was targeting me because I had a $5 million ring on my hand, yeah. I'm probably not very quick to replace it with anything because it makes you a target. Why she, that's why she's wearing a sweatshirt and no makeup. She's trying to have a low profile to protect herself, which I totally understand. And even though she's back in LA, just dealing with the whole Paris robbery, it, I can't imagine what that does to you. Like, you don't feel mm -mm. safe anywhere after that. No, I, I don't know if she'll ever feel safe anywhere. Yeah. I don't want to live forever, Aaron. No? Well, maybe after I listen to this song, I want to listen to it on repeat because we can <laughs> finally listen to the full song. I don't have Apple Music, but now that the lyric video has been released on YouTube, we can listen to the full song and see some of the scenes from Fifty Shades Darker. Now, while Taylor and Zayn aren't in the video themselves, we have new footage from the upcoming Fifty Shades Darker film, so go ahead and take a look at all of this sexiness. In addition to Anna and Christian attending a masquerade ball together, we see the couple on a romantic sailboat ride and a nude scene where the lovers are in bed together. Ooh. So the official music video is still coming soon. The yeah. verdict's still out in the song. Some yeah. people are huge fans of it. Some people aren't. I'm kind of in the middle, but I think once I see the video. I didn't love it at first. But, but once I knew it was for Fifty Shades mm -hmm. Darker, I'm like, okay, I can kind of forgive it because yeah. it's going with the theme of that movie. Exactly. It's not just a single for the two of them. Um, Zayn did confirm kind of yesterday in an interview that he and Taylor did shoot a music video. I think the DJ that were asking them questions about it or asking him questions about it was like, you know, what, I didn't know if it'd be somebody else in the video. He's like, why would it be someone else in the video? <laughs> so I'm excited. I hope this happens before Christmas because that might be the only thing on my Christmas wish well, list. Well, do you know what year. I'm, not, like now we're talking about the video, the only thing I can't, I can see Zayn sexy. I can't imagine Taylor like doing the, you know what I mean? Cause she's done for so long, like the awkward, like I'm the cool girl, but not really. She's, she's done sexy. See, maybe she's not your type. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> Speaking of new music, Selena Gomez might've been spotted making some new music with Nick Jonas recently. Yes. So she was spotted actually in the studio following her hiatus. And Nick Jonas' reaction sums up our feelings perfectly. The singer popped up in a photo on songwriter Justin Tranter's Instagram feed yesterday. And while it kind of is a strange picture to post of someone that you're working with, we don't really care because we're so stoked that it means that Selena is possibly back in the recording studio making new music. And we can kind of make that assumption because Justin did caption a photo writing music and love. Now Selena collaborated with Justin on a number of songs for her revival album. So she's in very good hands here. And speaking of hands, uh, her ex-boyfriend kind of, Nick Jonas responded to this photo with the praise hands emoji. He is also very excited about this collaboration. So does this mean that he's just wishing her well? Is he involved somehow with this song that she's writing? 
I mean, for him to go into a comment section on someone else's photo and comment on it means it's on his radar somehow, right. so. It could go one of two ways. He could just be excited like we are that music's coming, or he's trying to give a hint to her saying, hey, I'm excited, but let's collaborate. Oh, like you, know you think I mean? it's an SOS. Mm -hmm. Like, hey girl, let's work on mm -hmm. something together. Get a I little would hint, love that, right? actually. Their voices together are magic. So Ariana Grande just gave Mac Miller the best holiday gift ever, and that gift is her. <laughs> So yesterday, Ariana Grande took a break from her insane schedule to fly from LA to Pennsylvania to surprise her boyfriend, Mac. Aww. And Mac has a few days left wrapping up his tour, but all he wanted was to unwrap his girl, Ariana. So Ariana took a spontaneous trip to the East Coast and she documented the whole thing via her Snapchat. In one pic, Ari is using the dog filter and revealed writing, I surprised him. In another snap, the two are posing with Ari's new favorite deer filter together. And to prove the couple is just like us, they hit up Trader Joe's together as well. Mm. Take a look. And this will be crazy, like. Oh, wow, it just all you explode. Get it's, it's like incredible. a grenade and a sword. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would not grab it. One. That one is full. Wow, this is, this is so cool. Samurai style? No, no, no. Exactly. <laughs> No. <laughs> so possibly what prompted this surprise visit from Ariana was Mac's recent Instagram post. We know Mac was really missing his girl before she came to visit because just yesterday he posted this black and white photo of Ariana doing her makeup sitting on a sink. And he captioned it with, quote, a few more days so my mornings look like this again. Aww. This picture is just adorable and it shows Aww. how small she is because her feet are like actually in the sink. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't imagine being that small ever. She's a wee. No, I think this is really cute. Yeah. I Actually, I know. I know. I know we don't necessarily ship them long term, or at least some of us here. Clever <laughs> doesn't. Me. But um, I, I don't know. I think moments like this shows that they're both putting in so much effort mm -hmm. during a time and a season where they're both really busy. Yeah. Um, this is really. It's cute. cute. I'll give them that. I'll give them I that. just, I need to write some of these ideas down for how to spice up my romance. Oh, Aaron, you're fine. <laughs> All right, I have to say something about this next story. Yes. You know, we're producers here at Clever. I always appreciate when someone produces something really well. I did not see this coming. At all. Carpool Karaoke with James Corden has a very special Christmas style video, Carpool Karaoke video, that he's had all of his guests from the past year sing Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas, and this collaboration uh. is sick. And it includes Demi Lovato and Selena Gomez, and Adele, and Lady Gaga, and Mariah. I mean, the list Elton goes on. John, like, wow. Underneath the Christmas tree, I just want you for my own. you can ever know. Make my wish be real this is the best Christmas song of all time it will never get old and I say this to everybody if I ever meet someone who wants to be a singer or if I ever did a song I wouldn't even want to like have a massive hit just create a Christmas album and get one hit out of that yeah because it she never has to work again if she doesn't want to I know. you know what I mean I know but the only sad part is I feel like she set the bar so high for herself yeah. that she she can't even reach her own bar. Yeah, she can't hit those notes anymore. I know. We saw that. <laughs> don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. Don't care about the presents underneath the little tree. I just want you for my own. More than you could ever know. Make my wish come true. That's bonus footage. You guys got a lot more than you thought you were coming for on DHR. You're welcome. You're very welcome. All right, you guys know better than we do. Do you really think that Selena Gomez is in the recording studio right now making new music for us? I hope it's true. Yes. She's and also, I know Kim didn't have her ring on, but do you think that they're really getting a divorce? Yeah. You know what to do. Let us know in the comments section below. And do you think that Emil and I should go on tour singing <sighs> around I mean... the world? If so, let us know in the comments and we might be hitting up a city near you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. For more DHR, click left for Harry Styles dying in his acting debut. Or click right for Kanye West heading to the White House.